UFO and alien believers across the globe once again have their eyes on New Mexico and an official memo that recently popped up on the FBI's website. They're calling it proof that aliens exist, but is it really? One local researcher says it's just a bunch of hot air. News 13's Jeff Todd is live in the Newsplex. Jeff? Yeah, Tim, the supposed 1947 alien crash has become part of Roswell's identity. In fact, it's become part of New Mexico's identity, too. But tonight, this memo is raising a whole new set of questions. It's addressed to the director of the FBI, and it's dated March of 1950. The subject line, flying saucers. This document from one of Hoover's right-hand men has stirred up a bit of controversy online. Several articles have come out saying it proves aliens landed in New Mexico. The memo starts off saying an investigator for the Air Force says three flying saucers had been recovered in the land of enchantment. Each had three small bodies inside of human shape, but only three feet tall. If this really is a smoking gun, then there's a couple real problems with this story. Benjamin Radford is the managing editor of Skeptical Inquirer. There's nothing in this memo that is either new or particularly interesting, and certainly nothing that's relevant to Roswell. Radford says the incident actually refers to a hoax from 1948 in which three flying saucers allegedly landed near Aztec. Larry Barker told us about it four years ago. The whole Aztec story is part of an elaborate hoax cooked up more than 50 years ago by two con men posing as scientists, Silas Newton and Leo Gebauer. Their scheme unraveled in 1952 after a reporter exposed the scam in this magazine article. Newton and Gebauer later were convicted of fraud in Denver. But still many people around the world believe this document proves aliens exist. Bradford says he has some other problems with it, like how it's only an inner office memo and not a classified document. If this really is like the hard evidence of alien bodies and all that, why is it being treated in the same manner that you would request more staplers? I don't get it. But some people claim it's the proof they've been looking for. Hundreds of comments can be found online following news articles about it. People are going to believe what they want to believe. Uh, to the believers, the memo is just hard evidence for what they already believe. To the skeptics and everyone else, it's like, this doesn't say anything new or interesting. Another argument for those skeptics is that this document says that that information was furnished by another special agent. So essentially this memo is third-hand information that still has not stopped the believers. Tim, back to you. Thank you, Jeff. Both Roswell and Aztec still benefit from alien-based tourism. Roswell is still planning on building a new alien museum. And every year, Aztec hosts an alien convention based on the story of the 1948.